In this video, we'll make this simple 3D practice drawing. And to make this drawing, I'll start with the polyline tool. So I'll go to draw panel and select this polyline tool. Now click anywhere in the drawing area to start this polyline. Now click in the downward direction, or maybe you can just click in the left. That would be a lot better. So I'll click on the left, press one and press enter. Now click in the downward direction and enter a distance of 6 unit and press enter. So there we have it, line of length 6. Now move to the right and enter a distance of 10, press enter. Now move upwards and enter a distance of 1, press enter. Move to the left, enter a distance of 5, press enter. And now join it with this starting point. All right, now we need to add a fillet shape here. And for that, I'll select the fillet which is right here on the modify panel go to radius and add a fillet value of one and press enter now click on this line and this line and the fillet is now added so we have completed the front view of this drawing now let's convert it into 3d for that i'll go to home select extrude click on this geometry press enter and now add a height of 5 unit and press enter so there we have it now let's change the view a little bit and I'll change it to hidden to make things clear and I'll also go to free orbit and orbit this drawing like this so there we have it now we need to add two grooves here and also we need to add the fillets so let's add the fillet first so I'll go to solid go to fillet edge so for 3d shape we'll use this fillet edge tool now in this case the radius is one so go to radius and add one and press enter now select this edge as well as this edge and press enter twice that will add the required fillet okay now let's go to home and select circle and let's go to this top plane so right now the top plane will be selected by default because I have dynamic UCS selected so if in your case dynamic UCS is not selected then go to this customization and make sure that this dynamic UCS option is checked and then this dynamic UCS option is also selected so it will look like this blue icon when it is selected so make sure it is selected and once it is selected you will be able to select the plane on which you want to make your drawing so right now I moved my cursor here and look at this the plane is highlighted and the drawing will be made right here now I'll take the reference of this fillet and there we have it we have the center now click on the center and add a circle of radius 0.5 because you can see that the diameter is 1 and press enter now press enter to repeat the circle tool go to the same plane I'll take the reference of next fillet go to the center again 0.5 radius and enter so we have got these two shapes now let's add the grooves and for that I'll go to press pull tool so press pull click inside this and now you can see that we can make the press pull but let's select multiple so that we can create multiple press pulls like this and press enter and now click downwards and it will add the groove like this so look at this the grooves are now added all right so we have done that now let's add the shape right here so we need to add the circular shape here for that I'll go to line and once again make sure this dynamic uses is selected because if this is not selected you won't be able to make 3d shapes so easily so once it is selected go to this plane and now go to this midpoint and track this green vector and add a line of length 3.2 unit and press enter now press enter again to exit this command so this will act as the center of the circle which we are now going to make so go to circle and click on this endpoint and add a circle of radius 1.4 and press enter now we can remove this line this reference line is no longer needed and we need to add a press pull so let's just move our drawing a little bit to see things clearly and i'll go to the press pull tool now click inside the circle and we need to make press pull in this direction so let's try the positive value first so the depth in this case is 
1 so let's type 1 press enter well this is making it on the opposite direction so let's press ctrl z and we need to make it in the downward direction for that i'll go to press pull again select this area and now i'll type minus one press enter look at this so now this created the press pull which we needed all right so since we have the press pull let's add the fillets now so again go to solid go to fillet edge and now the radius is 0.2 so go to radius and add radius 0.2 press enter and click on this edge right here press enter twice and it will add the required fillet and that completes our final drawing as well